Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and I am so excited that it's the weekend again. I finally have time to do another video, and I have been really excited to discuss the new, or rather, rerun of the newest Limit Break banner. So this is Limit Break 1. For anybody who doesn't know, these weapons were all released, I believe, during the six-month anniversary. Starting in early March, we had the first two, which were the physical attack weapons, followed up by the Zack and Sephiroth magic attack all weapons. And if you don't know, these weapons are insanely strong. And just to kind of give an idea about it, if you look at one of these like Stream Saber here, you can see physical attack to all allies. And ultimately, there are two weapons that do the physical attack to all allies, and then there are two weapons that do magic attack. So Cloud and Glenn have physical attack ones. They go all the way up to 46. At OB6, you're looking at 40 points, and this does stack. It is outside of the regular boost physical attack. It's like a separate R ability. So uh, using these, you can really take your attack stats to new heights, and they make amazing sub weapons. Even when you're not maining them, they're still like honestly some of the best sub weapons in the game. They also all have an element associated with them. So we got Arcanum outfits, for all four characters. I think Sephiroth is actually just a magic ability mastery, but the other three, I believe, are all Arcanums. We'll take a brief look at those because I think, you know, a lot of you are going to know already what they do, but this is pretty big, right? Because you've got Ice Potency attached with this one. Um, when you look at his outfit, you can see Frostblade Arcanum, so it's geared towards the physical, which would be kind of more in line with Tifa uh, here. With Zack, you have Stream Guard. This is the magic attack, fire potency. And again, too, I mean, the weapon's actually quite good, like the C ability on its own. And then coming down to Guardian style, you've got Flame Blade Arcanum for him. And then when you look at the other outfits, you can see here that Zack's is Water Blade Arcanum. And I think, I, I think, like I said, Sephiroth's is magic ability mastery. So those are really good. You can see, again, the only weapon that I went for last time was Sephiroth's Protector's Blade. And I have this currently at OB4. We'll be trying to get this to OB6. Spoiler alert. Um, and here, again, this is the only one that wasn't associated with a specific element. So it's just boost magic ability potency, which is also very good. Um, yeah, the first time these came out, I... At first, misunderstood what the R ability would do. And then later on, it became clear that it wasn't just going to add to everybody's magic or physical attack, uh, you know, individual R abilities, because those were easy to max. It stacked on top of all of that. So these weapons are really good. I pulled at the very end, and I think I did one page to get Sephiroth's weapon, maybe a little bit more than a page, page and a half, and then used some weapon parts. I mean, I did everything I could to get it to OB6, and I just couldn't get there. So I'm really excited that these came back, because when this first Limit Break banner came back, I know a lot of you were, uh, you know, disappointed, because we thought... Now, granted, I will give... Uh, I will be clear about this, and fair. Fair maybe is the best word. It didn't say that they absolutely would have every Limit Break weapon on every future Limit Break banner. However... I think that's what we all inferred from what we read. Um, so I know a lot of people were, you know, disenchanted when this one came up and they couldn't wishlist those other ones. However, uh, coming on to this one, you can pull them again. And it's not wishlisting them, it's just they're featured. All four of them are featured. So if you look, you can see all of these are 1%. And I think there's a lot of people that are very happy about that. now. The negative side is a couple of things. One, we just had a killer banner with Tifa that is actually still going on for like five more days or so. And I pulled a lot on this. And I still want to get this later, but I'm going to be wishlisting it because I got the outfit. Um, then they came out with Vincent. And if you didn't spend all your crystals on Tifa, a lot of people spent on Vincent. And for the remainder of people that didn't spend on either of these, they're saving for the one year anniversary, which makes a lot of sense. But man, then they re-released the six month anniversary weapons. Like I said, these are amazing. So 
kind of a lot of soul searching has to be done uh, to decide, like, do you continue to hold? And, you know, I would say that the one year anniversary is probably going to happen. I guess it has to happen in September. Um, obviously, that's coming up. You know, we're a little bit over a month away. And I'm sure, I am sure that whatever they come out with on the banners for the one year anniversary, those are going to be cracked out, right? They're going to be busted. We, we just know because these seemed pretty busted uh, once I understood how they worked, you know, at the six month. So... You know what the right move is especially if you're saving and you have quite a bit of crystals like if you're at the you know 80 90 100 plus 150 plus k i can't tell you what the right move is i can tell you i made a purchase you can see here from the extra red crystals i have and the fact that i've got uh, 20 of these draw tickets because i know that i want to be able to do both and especially now that i'm working i just have less time to be able to grind things and do things that way so I'm kind of making up for it, I guess you would say. With all that in mind, I really thought about this hard. And, you know, I think you're not wrong if you hold for the one year anniversary, most likely. I really, I just, I don't think that that could ever be that bad uh, of a thing. However, these weapons are good enough that I don't think it's wrong to pull on these either. Um, you know, or try to do a little bit of both. The other thing, these stamp cards on this are you know significantly better than what we're used to seeing with normal banners you have a five star guarantee in the third slot but the first page is the weakest page coming on to page two there's two additional guaranteed weapons and even on page three there's two more guaranteed weapons with a costume if you don't have them every page is going to have a costume in that 12th slot so you know if i had amazing luck maybe i could get through two pages i can tell you Having Sephiroth sword at OB4, getting that to OB6 is kind of a must for me, and I do not have any specific weapon parts for him or not a significant amount, so that's not going to be a factor for me. I need to get two copies of this. If I can get them before I hit the guarantees, that's amazing, but if I can't, I may even change this one here uh, to Sephiroth sword, or I may go this far, but I can tell you I'd like to at least get a copy of Clouds and a copy of Zax. Uh, Glenn's would be great if I could pick one up, but I'm not gonna change the guarantee. I like the fact that both Zack and Sephiroth are magic, so you can really stack up that magic mastery. But even just one of these is pretty good. Like if we look here uh, at five star, 30 points, right? It, it goes up by 10 at six star, but I mean, this, this alone is already pretty good. So getting just one copy of that to stack on, you know, with the other, getting one copy, I guess, of what I'm saying, of the other weapons, right? Because there's two magic, two physical. To stack them is is probably, if you're going to use them as sub-weapons, that's worth more than just getting one to OB6, okay? Because the main reason you'd get OB6 instead of getting two, really, is probably for the C ability. However, since I already have Sephiroth at OB4, I just would really like to get it there. Plus, we know that uh, if you're weak with ele certain elements, this non-elemental damage is a big deal. And it was one of the first really big ones that I can think of that was magic instead of physical base. So that's what I think. I'm really excited about this and I am going to do some pulls. How far I go, I never really know. Uh, you know, I can do... 10 pulls with these crystals plus two more. So I could do 12. I'm not going to spend any more of my red crystals on this, I don't believe. So I'm just going to kind of see where it goes. I've set my wish list up <clears throat> for those of you who want to see it. I'm not going to go through it like usual uh, because it's kind of the same fare. Trying to get some, one of Tifa's weapons up, two of reds, and these are the both the uh, breach weapons uh, because I feel like there's a lot of value in those. The Shinra Military Sword for Sephiroth because he is my main wind DPS unit and I think that weapon really enables him with Dark Heavens to do a lot of wind damage. And then <clears throat> one of the new one is Power Soul. This is like one of my only Tifa weapons that is not at least OB6. And it, honestly, it's got some value. The boost HP with magical ability potency, especially now that Tifa's starting to become also you know enabled to do magic damage. Uh, that's a big deal, and I'd like to have that for. And uh, I've seen it kind of use or being useful in a lot of builds. So that's what we got. And uh, 
Let's do some pulls. One stamp, always a f amazing start. Had to kind of watch my language there for a second. And if you're new to this, then I'm just gonna let you know, I like to watch the very first one just because it gets me hyped. I will be skipping <coughs> on just about every other one. Sorry about the cough. All right, let's, let's start this off with some good mojo. See where we go. Looking for the dodge. Nope, didn't get it. So I'm expecting uh, this to be just a miss. For anybody wondering as well, I did do 30 ticket pulls, like random, you know, ticket pulls before this. And I missed, I didn't hit any five stars on any of those. So I felt like I prepped myself here to possibly have some good draws. Uh, I think to date, four in a row is kind of the worst that I've done. This should hit me a five star guarantee. Hopefully it's one of the featured weapons. That would be really nice. Because that is ex especially what I'm trying to see here is as many of the featured weapons as possible since they are exclusive to Limit Break banners. Sephiroth, if this is the sword, then we are on fire here. Protector's Blade, I'm very happy about that. Okay, great start. We're gonna continue and start using the crystals. Three stamp stamps here are really good for me um, because these guarantees are, are something that I'm happy to get to. All right, so far, not we have not had a non-guaranteed uh, five star show up, so that is a thing. But we've got enough to OB6 Sephiroth sword, so. I'm pretty happy about that because it's been three pulls. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Luck is still not very good with the five stars. I had a really, really horrendous pull for Tifa's fire arc and stuff. Six stamps! Woo! Okay. I almost spoke too soon, maybe. I would take the stamp luck just as much as the random five-star luck. Uh, I Honestly, I'm okay with that because getting to these guarantees, unlike the other banners, is a big deal. Or at least there's more guarantees to be gotten to. So the stamps to me are almost as good. But yes, as I was saying, <laughs> my luck uh, with the last banner and I pulled hard on it, that was not very good. I cleared like... I think a little bit over two pages over two pages and did not get that many copies I think I don't even know if I got a single copy of the weapon that wasn't guaranteed uh, and so far we have not hit a single five-star uh, weapon that was not guaranteed so I would at least hope that a couple of these pulls will have something that I can be excited about besides the amazing stamp luck that I've had thus far in fact that was the first Six I've ever got. 100% positive of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, what I'm getting eaten alive uh, with these draws. These are these are atrocious. These are atrocious. I need to check the stamp card really quick because I think I need to change. Nope, I've got this. I'm going to change Sephiroth's sword here to Zack's stream guard. I, I do want a copy of Cloud, so I'm going to keep that there because with the stamps that I've gotten, I think I can easily get to this eight, and I'll probably at least try to finish out this second page unless I start getting just a series of one stamp, one stamp, one stamp. But it looks like, based on the pink chocobo, we're doing pretty well on the stamps. The stamps are keeping my morale up uh, because certainly the actual pulls are not. Now we know this is another five-star guarantee, so I'm looking to hit at least two to be my first non-guaranteed five-star. There it is, and I see red. So if that's a wish list red, then I'm, I'm at least decently happy about that. We've got our copy now of Clouds, and I will be happy with just having this at a five-star. 
I don't really plan to have to use this much to do physical ice damage. I mean, I guess it's there. That's not what I'm really wanting the weapon for. I'm just gonna check which collar this is. Silver collar. I do not believe, I had to check again. I don't believe that's one of the ones I have on the wish list. I could be wrong. I get all of his kind of mix up, but I know Seaside was a big one. Ivy's a big one. I think silver might be it. I have to check on that. No Murasame garbs either, so just kind of bad omens so far. Okay, Glenn, was this... Is it, is it the one? It is. It's the one true weapon. So, so far, even though my luck has been, I would say otherwise, pretty bad as far as five-star rate, um, after I get this next stamp, which is guaranteed, that should give me at least a five-star copy of every weapon. Um, so I guess, I don't know, I, I can't be really upset about that. Three stamps. The stamps have been really nice for me. Really, really nice. I would love to at least hit a couple five-star weapons along the way. I think I've hit one now that wasn't guaranteed one so far. Oh yeah, that's the guarantee. Oh my gosh, the only thing that stopped me from getting all blue balls. Oh man. Maybe this is just setting me up for amazing luck on the anniversary pulls. That'd be okay, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> I think one more draw is in order. I'd like to conserve as many crystals as I can, but I'm, I'm guaranteed I think to get a costume here. If I counted this right, even with one stamp, I think that's right. Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to pull it almost all the way down. I think I'm going to stop after two pages. I don't really see... Well, then again, watch me see the third page and be like, i got to try to find a way to get more. Okay, two out of this. This looks pretty good. And both of those, both of those were featured weapons. I, you know what? I, I would say that I can't say that this pull session has been any worse than average at this point. Uh, the five-star rate has not been amazing, but getting all featured weapons except for reds, I don't know. That just seems, to me, that seems pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. Oh, couldn't get one more. It was really, I was like, man, if I could just end on one, that would be great. Okay, well, that's what we did. Um, we got two costumes out of this on two pages. Uh, ultimately, I said I had enough to pull 12 times. So, um, how many pulls did I do? Less than 12, because I still have 5,000 left over. So I did 11 pulls. I finished two pages and 11 pulls. I think that's actually quite good because that's more than two stamps on average per pull. Uh, you know, I think that that's, I think that that's pretty good. I don't, I don't think I can really complain about that. Uh, we did get enough to get Sephiroth's to actually, I think OB seven, and we got a copy of every other one of the weapons, which honestly, if I had to have laid out a goal, that was the goal. Uh, I think though on 11 pulls man somebody if somebody was counting I I think I got three three non-featured uh or th sorry not three non-featured three or four I might have gotten four five star weapons that weren't guaranteed so I would say that's low for 11 pulls uh, I think you know you should probably probably be closer to double that at like a 70% rate you should be somewhere around 8 on 11 so that didn't go very well, but I, I I got the things that I really wanted, and I can't complain about that. I think this went pretty well. If you pull, I hope they go way better for you. But again, the way I've seen this go, it's a kind of a roller coaster. I've had banners where my luck was amazing. Uh, the one right before my last Tifa one, uh, which was another Tifa one, I went for, you know, whatever her weapon was, and I went, you know, the Kumuro one for Aerith was on there. I got both of those. Uh, to essentially like one OB6, one OB5. I mean, that was amazing. So you can't have a good time every single time. But I would say I'm 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 kind of building up some uh, good luck, I think, because I've had not the most amazing luck on the last two banners. However, I'm not upset with that decision. 
And the other thing I want to say is I'm sure that when the one year anniversary comes around, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of crystals, a lot of login bonuses, events that are giving them out, etc. So I feel pretty confident that, you know, by September, I can easily be back up to minimum 30,000 crystals, which would give me another 10 pulls or so. Uh, and, you know, I, I will be willing to do a purchase if I have to, uh, but we'll just have to take it and see how it goes. Let me know if you pulled on this, why you pulled or why you're saving. And if you did pull how it went, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I truly appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.